Evening ladies and gents, uh, Simon Brown here, slightly fluey, so I'm sounding a bit rough, but I'm alive and well. So this evening, we're looking at an update to the Momentum portfolio, um, the main cash one, which is the one from uh, March of this year, and then the June, and then also stocks for September. The idea behind the September stocks is that if you only, you know, maybe you've only just been able to 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 do a momentum portfolio, and you know, for whatever reason, and the question is always, so I've got my money together now, uh, but do I buy the stocks from from March of this year? And the answer is nope. Every quarter we will put out a list, so you're never more than three months away from that list. Join that list. In other words, join the first of September uh, uh, to a truck a tra a train, if you will. So it's a quick uh, recap, very brief. Uh, momentum says that trends continue, um, and we've seen it, uh, and, and, and over time. Forget the short-term trends. These are year-long, multi-year-long trends. Uh, Nespas, Capitec on the upside, um, Implats, Anglo on, on, on the downside. So these trends continue, and we jump on that bus of the trends. Simply, we do price percentage movement. So what did the stock do in the last year? Um, and we buy the winners. So... From the top 40, we take uh, five stocks. From the mid-cap, we take six stocks. Uh, mid-cap's got 60 in total in it. Um, benchmarks are, are the two ETFs. And bottom line is we do a scan over one year, and I'll do a live scan shortly for the September stocks. One year of the top 40 stocks, what is their price return? And then we go and buy those that return the most. Uh, top five in the top 40 and top six in the mid-cap. Um, we hold them for a year. So we run portfolio starting one March, one June, one September, which is the one we're in today, and then there'll be a one December one as well. And then, of course, we're back to one March again in, in the new year. Um, and we update every 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 month. Uh, the URL is there where you can go and, and we update the portfolios uh, across all of the different portfolios every month. The one that is due tomorrow will be up later in the week. They say Wednesday or Thursday will have that up. So, as I said, a multiple of them. The March 15 in our naming convention is the month and the year it started. March 15, which is uh, the one that I've invested in, I've put 200,000 into it. It's been running since January of 2013 with that 200,000. There's a June 15 that we did uh, beginning of June, and then, of course, the September 15, this one. And on the 30th of November, we'll do December 15. So if you miss the September entry and you get the money together, well, then come along and you can do the, the 30 November one. Uh, and as I said, the updates happen uh, just there. Folks, if you've got questions, uh, drop them in the Q&A box. We've certainly got time for questions. I'm certainly more than happy to take questions as they come along. So funding, as I said, the, the March 15 portfolio is a live funded portfolio. I've put 100,000 into respectively the top 40 in the mid cap, um, 50,000 on the 2nd of January 2013, another 20 in March 14. We changed from a calendar year to a tax year. So we used to start January to December. Now we do March to February. Uh, and then another 30,000 in March of this year. 100,000 total, but because of the unitizing of the portfolio, the returns in that 50,000, we've got returns on returns, if that makes sense. So those were the stocks of the top 40, Mr. Price, MediClinic, uh, Netcare, RMI, first round. You can see Discovery and Aspen just didn't make it in. Uh, not unhappy about Aspen. Uh, Discovery's done quite nicely. But nonetheless, we've got those five in the top 40. And there they are live. Um, you can see the purchases that we did for them. Purchase prices were all around the 25, uh, 26,000 Rand level um, to down to 25 and some change. In essence, you take the portfolio at the beginning of the year and you divide it into the five shares. So you buy them equal weight across the process. We had a decent day today, up 0.8. But the total move uh, is minus 8.3. We've got 100, and, call it 120,000 in there. So we've put in 20, and we've got 120,000 in there. We are, uh, 20, the time value of money puts us about 38% up over the, the three and a half years. Mid caps. So six stocks: Fortress Bees, Telcom, Capitec. Uh, it's now in the top 40, but it's mid cap here. Pioneer Foods, uh, Fashini Group, and Resilient were the six. Um, I had held uh, Telcom already from the previous year, and I hold Capitec in my long-term portfolio. I don't adjust my long-term portfolio. I'm not just overweight Capitec because I have it long-term and I have it uh, in the, in the mid-cap portfolio. So those were the, the six different stocks. There's their performance. You can see the Telcom performance is skewed because, as I said, we've held it over. So we actually, these are stocks we bought in uh, March of 2014, and we actually sold some in March of this year to get us down to that weight, which is why they say the cost is only 10,000. Um, 
Otherwise, equal split between, we were up 0.2 today. The portfolio percentage move is skewed because of the telecom percentage move. 170,000. So if we run the numbers, um, so these are the returns for March 15. Momentum, top 40 is down minus 7. That is including all costs and dividends received. That is a total in cost of down 7%. The benchmark, the top 40, down 5.4. So short answer, we are losing. It's a little bit. But we're behind, and that's that's not lacquer. Midcap, uh, the six stocks, they're up 5.6% after all costs, including dividends. And the benchmark, the midcap, is down 9%. So significant outperformance happening here from those shares. Absolutely massive outperformance. If we go back, um, what are the giant movers? So it's, it's, it's been telecom, even though it's under pressure lately. We've got an 18.4, 20.738, 15, 6. The only one down in us is Fashini Group. I mean, I look at that and I say, I'm happy. I, you know, what are we doing here? We're doing an absolute index. Our, our intention is to beat the underlying index. That's what we're trying to achieve. We slightly behind on one. We are nicely ahead on the other. I'm happy. I, I would like to be ahead on both. Um, the, the fact that we've actually are green here. So the fact that the index is red, we could be minus six and we're doing better. So the fact that we're actually green here is, is lack. I, I'll take it. So then what about the June 15 momentum portfolio? So this is the one we started 1st of June. Top 40 stocks were uh, NASPAS. We took MMD, MPC, Netcare, and Discovery. That index is down minus 1.8. Benchmark, so those stocks, the benchmark down. 4.1. So we're actually winning. This is after all costs have been taken into account um, and dividends paid into the account. So we're ahead by 2.3%. Not a hell of a lot. Uh, barely a significant enough amount, but nonetheless, we're ahead. Midcap, another Fortress B, Capitec, uh, uh, Bright, EOH, Nepi, and Cap. We are plus 2.4 versus minus 5.7. So the midcap stocks, and the, you can see that there's, there's, there's overlap in them. FFB, CPR, TFG, um, no, TFG is out. So it's FFB and CPR. They're the only two. And what we're seeing is this, this portfolio continues to outperform. So for the June 15s, we're ahead. Remember, we want to beat the indexes. Minus 4.1, minus 5.7. We're ahead of both of those. We're in the right place. That's what matters. So then we need to look at stocks for uh, this month. Now, what I need to do quick is I've got to download. My data only becomes available at 8 o'clock in the evening. I'm going to download that data. Folks, we're back on the bus again, uh, but let's go to 31 uh, and let's say show. This is mid cap and there was absolutely no difference, but let me put those mid cap stocks in. So mid caps are FFB. Uh, ah, wrong keyboard, that's why. Mid caps are FFB. PSG, EOH, Pioneer Food Group, uh, RES, and how many is that? 245 and KAP. Is that my six? Two, four, six. Of course, CAP is in because we take one more. Um, and then let's do same, but let's do it for top 40. My top 40 stocks, CPI, uh, BAT, I take MND, they're the same, but I'll take MND, uh, CCO is Capco, and SHF is Steinhoff. So those are the various stocks. Um, important. There's no, there's no fundamentals. There's no technical analysis. All we're doing is buying these stocks purely based on price move. So the, the trick here is quite simple. If you want to enter a, September, a momentum portfolio, these are the ones. If you're looking to enter sometime during September, even October, uh, these are the, the nine stocks to buy. Um, and then what you can do is if it's like November and you're watching the video, you could wait for first of December. So this is an overview of the different portfolios, the portfolios, and then their respective benchmarks. March 15, top 40 is down 7%. Benchmark is down 5.4. So this is the one, hence, red cross that is behind. 
Uh, Mid-cap March 15 is up well ahead of benchmark, some 14.6%. Um, the June 15 top 40 ahead of benchmark by 23 uh, June 15 mid-cap ahead of benchmark by uh, 8.1%. So aside from the one cross, we've got three portfolios going. Remember, as I said, the two that I physically hold and I have cash are those two. 100,000 funded into each. So just a quick few bit of details. Uh, no paid letters, we get them occasionally. Uh, when we get no paid letters, we sell them. We always sell them. Um, and if the cost of selling is more than the value, we don't bother with it. The, the take up, you're going to get so few. It, it just, yeah. Um, in, in some, you know, we, we don't have cash in the portfolio to take up shares because we always pretty much fully invested apart from dividends. Uh, and then stop loss, <laughs> name you perfect timing. So no stop loss except corp, uh, serious corporate action. So, uh, you know, if uh, when Arsenal Mittal um, announced that they that they hadn't renewed their license, um, et cetera, and you know, for that that is a fundamental negative shift for the company. But otherwise, you know, if they if they if they if they're losing money, if they cancel a dividend. I hold them because they momentum. But if there's a fundamental serious corporate activity, then I exit them. I've done back testing on all types of different stop losses, percentages and the like, and none of them give me a better return. None of them give me a better return. Uh, Andrew, no paid letters. They come out of a rights issue. So we've seen them from MediClinic recently. We've seen them from, I think it was Resilient, uh, Ellie's. Basically, the no paid is something that trades on the JSC, and it gives you the right to buy more shares at a price. And because you're an existing shareholder, you are given these rights. So you can buy more shares at a price. Alternatively, you can sell the no paid. Uh, if you go to justonelap.com, search NPO, you'll find a, a quick video on what they are. So just a quick recap. It's about we buy the winners. That's the whole process of what we're doing because those trends tend to continue. And I know we fixate on the short term. You know, last Monday when we had all that chaos, I didn't even glance at my momentum portfolio. You know, because there was enough other stuff happening. Was my momentum portfolio being killed? I'm sure it was, but it didn't matter. I wasn't going to do anything. So we buy, we hold, because those two trend, trends continue. We'll update it every quarter. We do a monthly update as well. Uh, just pulling down there. We do monthly updates um, as well, which you can find at blog.justonelap.com. Uh, taxes and costs are a real issue. What I mean by that, so we're including transaction fees, we're not including costs. And we've investigated a couple of ways and we've had some conversations and some of you may have remembered our mentioning around how we were trying to get brokers and stuff. We're, we're still on it. it it's, a, it's a giant process. It's a giant process. But some sort of fund or something of a sort so we can avoid the tax hit as well. And of course, as I said, we do updates on Twitter and Facebook and the December portfolio, which we'll do 31 November, which again is a Monday, sorry, 30 November, which is a Monday. We'll do the update. Ladies and gents, if you've got any questions, uh, pop them in the Q&A box. Otherwise, you can get hold of myself on Twitter at SimonPB. Um, I'm always uh, happy to, to have a chat on Twitter. Certainly my preferred medium. It's just it's easy. It's quick. So if you've got any further questions, you're welcome to hit us up at Twitter or Simon at JustOneLap.com. Cool. Ladies and gents, not seeing any questions. We'll leave it there. Uh, let me just go quickly back to... That screen. So those are the September uh, stocks for, for 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 the for the portfolio. Uh, no, those are the September stocks for the portfolio. Uh, if you're looking to enter September, sort of October, be back end of November for stocks to buy on one December. Thanks all for your time, everyone. Have a grand evening. Cheers. <laughs>